is the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy nice. What's up, YouTube? This is Christmas Age Films in my first actual programming slash coding visual basic tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to create a terms of use agreement, basically, to put at the beginning of any program that you have to make it look more official. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I already have the whole layout, so what you'll need is you'll need four labels, which will be here, 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 and here, a checkbox with no text, three buttons. Okay, so this I'm going to show you what to do. So what you'll do, you'll insert your first label around here and insert the text that you want. For example, I put, by clicking accept, you respect owner's copyright and do not intend to lead others to believe this program that you have created. My second label says, you also agree that you will not upload this program onto a file share website without oral or written contract from the owner. Thank you and we hope you enjoy your new program. The third one says, by checking this box and clicking accept, you agree to all terms and conditions. And then the fourth label has the copyright symbol and says CH is dirty, CH Films Incorporated, which is a copyright mark. Okay, now you have your checkbox, which should be to take the text off once you enter checkbox, which is located here. You'll have checkbox one beside you. will go down through this list, the properties, go to text, and just delete everything. And then you click enter, and there you go. And for the buttons, just go right here, double click button. Get three of those out right here. Put one I accept, cancel, and I do not accept. And of course, click on your form and change the text to whatever you want. I put terms of usage agreement. And also, for if you have an icon file, you can go here to icon, click these three dots, and browse for an icon, which I'm getting ready to do. I created an icon for this. As you see, it comes here. It's a piece of paper with a pencil. Okay, now let's get into coding. The only th the three, no, excuse me, four things you'll be coding are the I do not accept, cancel button, the I accept button, and the checkbox, and the actual form, excuse me. So double click on the form, and this is where you'll enter button two dot enabled equals false. Then you'll go here to the I do not accept, and enter end which will, I do not accept, which will close the form out, uh, cancel, and as well, which will close the form out, and double click the checkbox, if checkbox one dot checked, then button two dot enabled equals true. Okay, all these will be in the description, now let's debug our program and see how it works. As you can see, the I accept button you cannot click on because that was in our form underscore load uh, uh, copy. So you'll click here, and as soon as you click the checkbox, it enables the I accept button. You just click I accept. And then there you go. Now, as you can see, it really does nothing. So I'm going to show you guys right quick how to get it to do something. So you'll go to Project, Add Windows Form. Form2.vb and click add. And I'm not really going to do anything to this at all. I'm just going to show you how to transfer. You go back here, double click I accept. You'll go to me.hide. Open, open parentheses, close parentheses. Form2.show. Open parentheses, close parentheses. Let's go ahead and debug this program and see how it works. So you'll check this box, we'll enable this button, click I accept, and I'll move it to your second form, which will be the actual program or a splash screen that you create. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'll be making more soon. Uh, I'm just starting out with the basics now, which is what this program is. I'll be getting into more detailed pretty soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.